creation, and this would be the early universe when it expanded. And at any given at any given time, you see the universe is is this. Uh, well, I guess I want to control of this over a center of a pointer there. Uh, that circle uh, is would be the projection of a, of a sphere that would be the universe at any particular time t. And and you see the it, it starts out at a, at a point at time t equals zero and expands. And back in 1970, uh, Stephen Hawking and Roger Penrose published a calculation that they made based on Einstein's theory of general relativity that said that the universe had to begin with an uh, uh, infinitesimal point, infinite density that uh, was a mathematical uh, singularity. And uh, the question is, was that the beginning of time? And a, a number of theologians, in particular me and Lane Craig, have argued that uh, that that singularity had to be the beginning of time. However, quantum mechanics says that there was no such singularity, and both Penrose and and Hawking have admitted that. In fact, if you look at uh, Hawking's very famous book, A Brief History of Time, that came out in uh, 1988 or 20 years ago, he says exactly that. He says that our calculation, Penrose and my calculation, wasn't wrong, uh, but it uh, was just based on general relativity, and you have to take into account quantum mechanics, and quantum mechanics says there was no singularity, because the earliest definable moment that you can talk about the so-called Planck time is about 10 to the minus 44 seconds, and you can't define a time shorter than that, it's just uh, uh, beyond the, the uh, operational definition of time that we use it in uh, physics, which is what you measure on a clock, that's all the time is. Now, uh, people like uh, Craig will fire it back, well, what about the Big Bang? The Big Bang uh, uh, certainly occurred, there's no doubt about uh, the, 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 the our, our universe at least began with the Big Bang. However, our universe uh, is, is it could have tunneled from our previous universe. This is the picture that we would have, that uh, there was a, a previous universe, and our universe is a process called quantum tunneling, which is very well understood, and this, this incidentally can be worked out uh, mathematically. I, I did this in, in my book uh, called uh, The uh, Comprehensible Cosmos. And uh, you can you can work out this scenario with Hawking and, and, and uh, another collaborator, Hartle, uh, first proposed. And, and that is that uh, uh, the universe could have come from, from nothing, uh, a uh, period of chaos defined as nothing, and uh, uh, this is certainly something that's not ruled out by anything we know, uh, our best knowledge of physics and cosmology. And in fact, multiple universes, the existence of multiple universes, is suggested by, today, by, by today's cosmology. That is, that there are many universes out there, they're each kind of bubbles that are expanding, and, uh, uh, well, uh, theologians will argue, well, you know, it's, it's rational to talk about such a thing because we can't, we can ever, we could never show, uh, detect one of these other universes. It turns out that uh, it's very possible. People are proposing that uh, there are ways that we might detect the existence of other universes. Basically, what happens is if these bubbles collide with one another, which I personally think is very unlikely, but there have been papers published that says that if a bubble collides, with another bubble, you'll get a, a distortion of the cosmic microwave background. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that would be, uh, some people even say such a distortion has already been observed. So in other words, in principle, uh, uh, we could find out. So it's not being unscientific to talk about multiple universes, and that our universe is just one. 